my duns beautiful people in this video we will discuss the number one ingredient the number one must have in a loving relationship if your relationship is missing this key ingredient just throw it in the trash okay start over again <laughs> please share comment and like this video let's begin Dance beautiful people hi everybody welcome back to dance beautiful people how are you guys doing welcome welcome back okay so today it's gonna be another exciting video we are going to talk about have a discussion regarding the number one okay just simple just one simple ingredient okay we need to have in a relationship in order for it to work listen up ladies and gentlemen okay this is straight from the bible okay <laughs> yes i know i have a big bible look, look at it i know it's big it's big it's big it's big you see all the notes i've been taking for you guys you see um yeah so i just want to share um this one simple ingredient that you need in order for a relationship to work okay now if you don't have that it's not going to work ladies you're wasting your time fellas you're also wasting your time you're not in it for god you're in it for your own fleshly desires okay and as i've said in the beginning and i've in um i i always say this and by now, my Duns Beautiful People, I know this. My channel, this channel, are for those who believe in God, who believe in Jesus Christ, okay? Who wants to live a Christ-like, purpose-filled life, okay? Um, my teachings, my knowledge, the way I live my life, it's not for the world, okay? I live it according to the Word of God, okay? That's my protection, and I would love to share it with every one of you, everybody who's willing to listen, okay? So the one ingredient, I know what y'all saying. Okay, Dan Stedler, Dan Stedler, what's the one ingredient? The one ingredient that you need in order for a relationship to work is that the man, listen now, the man must love the woman more than the woman love the man. Whew, I know I just dropped a bomb. I just dropped a bomb. I know I just did. Now take a moment. Okay? Take a sip of water. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Take a sip of water. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Take a sip. Okay. No, I'm not drinking alcohol. That's just my water. Take a sip of water to let that okay, enter your energy space. Yes. Ladies. If you find yourself chasing after the man, the relationship will not work. If you find yourself working harder to make the relationship work than the man is, it's not a God-fulfilled relationship. Men, if you find the woman is more interested in you than you are in her, you're not her husband. She's not your wife. And you're only in it for your fleshy benefits because i'm going to read i would like to read a verse okay and please follow along with me okay it's going to be in ephesians 5 okay ephesians 5 verses 25 through 30 okay ephesians 5 25 through 30 all right all right i'm going to read it to you okay in ephesians 5 verse um 25 through 29 okay i'm not sure if you could see it all right verse 25 to 29 all right okay so it reads husbands love your wives just as christ loved the church and gave himself up for her to make her holy cleansing her by the washing with water through the word 
and to present her to himself as a radiant church without stain or wrinkle or any other blemish, but holy and blameless. In this way, husbands ought to love their wives as their own bodies. He who loves his wife loves himself. After all, no one ever hated their own body, but they feed and care for their body, just as Christ does the church. Amen? Amen. Okay? So this is straight from the Bible. All right? The men must love the woman as himself. So ladies, as my last video says, if you see a man cheating on you, beating you, mistreating you, taking advantage of you, he is not sent from God. Point blank, period. I don't know how else to say it. You know, I really don't know. Men, if you find yourself doing any of the above to a woman, you know she's not your wife and God cannot bless you. God is not in your life. Because God is the truth. He cannot live where there is darkness. So my recommendation to you, let her go. Ask God for forgiveness. Learn to work on yourself. And go find your wife. And ladies, if you see a man doing any of these things to you, I pray you find the strength to say, hey, the Bible did not say that. God would never allow this to happen to me. And find the strength to leave the guy. Okay? Because God is not in this relationship. God cannot bless your mess. One of my, I think I posted it on my Instagram page. Follow me on Instagram, y'all. I posted it. God will not bless your mess. Okay? For example, with me, all right. Before, as you all know, I was married before, you know, I am happily divorced. <laughs> but when, before I got married to my husband, I told him, I said, honey, there are two things I will not tolerate from no men. I have, there's two deal breakers that I have. First of all, I don't believe in falling out of love. I don't believe love is a feeling. No, love is a commitment. It's not a feeling. Okay. You stick it out. But there's two things that I told him that's my deal breakers. All right. One is if he cheats on me or if he's physically abusive. All right. So needless to say, one of these things happened. And I walked straight to City Hall. Got a divorce paper. Filed. Boom. Simple. Okay. Okay. Because you need to know your worth, your value. You need to know the Bible. You need to know how you are. You are meant to be loved. Okay? Think of yourself as an iPhone, for example. Okay, we all have iPhones. And Apple is the manufacturer, right? Apple already installed and know how the iPhone is supposed to work. Correct? So same here. God is our manufacturer. Like we came from him. He created us. He already knows what's best for you, what's not best for you, what's going to work for you, what's going to bring you joy, everything. So if you're not receiving it, who are you serving? Your flesh or your spirit? It's not easy, okay? It's not easy. And I don't want to make it sound like it's easy, but you need to find a way to get the courage to love yourself like the Bible says you're supposed to be loved. So my dance, beautiful people, that's what I wanted to share with you, okay? And I know this is going to be very hard for many people to, um, what can I say? to accept because a lot of us are, are walking around in denial okay we know this relationship is not 
God is not in the middle of it. But we, because of society, because of our own selfish needs, you know, our own insecurities, you know, we choose to be in it. And like I said, just ask God for the strength, for the courage, whatever you lack, get it. Okay. I am a life coach. Reach out to me if you have any questions, any support. Okay. But I just wanted to just, you know, briefly come in and uh, let you guys know the number one ingredient that you need in order to have a loving relationship. All right. So as always, I'm going to ask you to like, share, leave your comments, all right? Dance, beautiful people. See you in the next video. Mwah.